Four high school volleyball players tonight face felony charges for what one of their teammates has happened on a school bus last month. Now we want to warn you that some details are graphic. 25 News reporter Austin Walker begins our team coverage from Milam County. These court documents detail all the events that happened on September 21st. It started with a bus ride for an away volleyball game, but ended with four high schoolers arrested and one teammate wondering why this would happen to her. According to court documents obtained by 25 News, four Caldwell ISD volleyball players were arrested for indecency of a child. Sophia Goodman, Katie Hartman, Katherine Hart, and Marina Brinkman. It happened on Highway 190, just up the road from the Dairy Queen in Cameron. In an interview with the Burleson County Sheriff's Office, the four girls were participating in, quote, tradition that happens every year. In the documents, the victim was stripped down in the back of the school bus by Katie Hartman and Katherine Hart. A witness on the bus says on record the two girls were, quote, pulling her spandex so hard to get them off, the victim was being pulled off the seat while trying to keep her spandex on. The victim says Hartman and Hart continued to try to remove her clothes even after telling the defendants to stop. Hartman then removed the victim's clothes, exposing her genitals. In addition, the report states Marina Brinkman was, quote, holding her down when the victim's clothes were removed. While on the bus, the documents also say Sophia Goodman was, quote, to be the lookout, used a speaker and played loud music to cover up the actions on the bus. During her interview with the department, Goodman says, quote, they were looking for a target to rape. The documents further explain after the act, Hart came up to the car the victim was riding home in and told the driver, quote, we basically just raped your sister on the bus ride home. We wanted to speak with the Milam County Sheriff, Mike Clore, about the information in the affidavit but he says he could not speak to us because he had prior commitments. I offered to drive to Thorndale where he was at, and he said no. The documents charge all four with felonies. Now a month later, justice lies with the Milam County Court. In Cameron, Austin Walker, 25 News. Austin, thank you. With those four students being charged with this crime, what does that have to, what does the school have to say? Yeah, it's a good question. 25 News reporter Nick Bradshaw tonight continues our team coverage from Caldwell. Yeah, we've been asking questions all day long. Some of those questions are, how long exactly has this been going on in Caldwell ISD? And what is the school doing to make sure it doesn't happen again? What is that incident? Uh, well, Caldwell ISD is committed in providing a safe environment for every student, uh, for all students. And so we are currently actively involved in an investigation and cannot uh, comment any further at this time. What is that investigation? What is that incident? We are not able to comment any further on what the investigation details are. Four volleyball players from Caldwell High School are accused of forcibly stripping a teammate on a school bus with four staff members on that bus. In a written statement, Superintendent Andrew Peters told us the school is investigating current and past practices. He wouldn't talk to us on camera, but sent Kim Poglosh, Director of Communications for the school district. Okay, but I understand from a previous, previous statement from the superintendent that there's been ongoing issues that, um, that maybe a new principal and a new athletic director has been brought in for. Um, well, right now, COAL ISD, as I said before, uh, we are taking every report or any, any kind of student misconduct on any circumstance. Uh, that we are committed, again, to ensuring that we provide a safe environment for all students. One of those being charged is being represented by attorney Craig Greening. Yes, this is a classic case of overcharging a case. Uh, I think that if a DA would have been consulted before getting an arrest warrant, that uh, this, this never would have charged this way. Um, what do you think this was? Do you think this is a sexual assault or do you think it's something different? No, this is a classic case of a, uh, an incident where a pantsing type incident that happens a lot in our schools. Um, is, it, is, it the right, is it right to do it? No, but it is something that happens. It's a prank. According to multiple sources, what Greening calls a prank has happened for years at the school district. You know, in the affidavits, it talks about, it uses the, the word rape in that affidavit, that they were looking for someone to rape. You said, what was, what was that? Well, from my information from the investigation at the school that the girls over the years used as a code word rape, but it really mean, meant just pantsing, taking somebody's pants down and playing a prank on them. Poor choice of words, right? Though? Poor choice of words, yes. And as far as Caldwell ISD? Um, I am the voice of Caldwell ISD, and our comment is that we uh, are committed every day to make sure that our students are safe in our environment, and we cannot make any further comments pending this investigation. In Caldwell, Nick Bradshaw, 25 News.